Hello students! Today, we will start to use our AutoCAD application in a much formal approach. We will be focusing to a more specific setup. Let's begin by opening a new blank file. Everything we have here are preset variables by Autodesk. Simula sa units, dimensions, hanggang sa mga AutoCAD drawing aids dito sa status bar na idiniscuss natin last time. We use them by certain defaults that is made by Autodesk. So, okay, umpisahan natin doon. We can set up these AutoCAD drawing aids to our own satisfaction and we can retain the setup as long as ma-change na natin siya as template. By the way, our main goal is to create our own template file. Every changes that will be done will be our own template files permanent standard settings so that whenever we use this template, yung setup na gusto natin ay nando doon na kaagad. So, let's make a little changes dito sa ating OSNAPs. Ayan. And yung auto mode natin ay i-on din natin. Next, let me introduce you to Layers. As I'm checking your PTs, yung first performance task nyo in our subject, I saw na may mga students na, may mga classmates na tayo na marunong and nakagamit na nitong layers for their output. So, that's good. We can click here or type LA para makita natin yung layers properties. Our layers is associated with line types, colors, and line weights, and many more. Ayan, ginagamit natin itong layers to control the visual layout of our drawings. The default for this layer is zero. Actually, layer is not recommended to be used, especially sa mga professional outputs. So, bawat part sa ating drawing or sa ating project ay kailangan na may designated layer. For example, gawa tayo ng layer natin for hidden lines and another layer naman mamaya for uh, object lines. So, for our uh, layer in hidden lines, first, we will set the name. Ayan, H-I-D-L, hidden line. Then, we designate our desired color for this layer. We'll choose the line type. So, hanapin po yung hidden para sa ating hidden line. Pilotin nyo lang yung load. Ayan, hidden. And then, yung line weight. We can use lock para hindi mabago itong setup ng layer natin na ito. Kapag ginamit natin siya sa drawing area natin, after putting it in our drawing area, hindi na natin siya mamomodify. So, ayun yung purpose ng lock. So, kapag ka gusto mong i-modify yung uh, certain layer na yon, i-unlock mo lang, i-click mo lang yung uh, lock icon. So, let's create naman yung layer for object lines. Gawin lang din natin yung ginawa natin doon sa ating hidden lines layer. Ayan. Name OBJL for object line and then yung color yung line type and yung line weight. So, yes, we created our Layer for hidden lines and object lines.
i-modify na rin natin yung settings ng dimensions natin. Paguhin lang natin yung uh, sizes ng arrow, sizes ng text, para mas kita siya sa ating drawing area. And then ito, sa units, meron dyan yung architectural. Yan. Most of the architects na kakilala ko, ang ginagamit nila is yung architectural. So, ayan. Ang napapakita sa dimensions niyan is naka-fit. Yung isang guhit lang sa taas, fit yon And then yung dalawa naman is inches. So, ganun yung architectural. So, gamitin na lang muna natin itong decimal. So, after that, let's put dimensions to our drawing. Ayan. Dito naman sa layout 1, makikita natin yung ating drawing. Nandiyan na rin yung ating drawing. Meron ditong dalawang uri ng space. Merong paper space and yung model space. So, pag kinlik natin dito, sa loob, malapit sa ating drawing o sa mismong drawing natin, mapupunta tayo sa model space. And kapag uh, kinlik naman natin outside that, dun sa mismong paper na, mapupunta tayo sa paper space. So, create lang tayo ng simple block. Hindi pa ito yung uh, required block natin para sa magiging pity natin. Example lang to. And then, pwede na natin siyang i-save. Click nyo lang yung ating menu browser. And then, save as. Tapos, yun yung may DWT. Tapos, click nyo lang yun. So, kung makikita nyo, yung file natin is module7.dwt. Ibig sabihin, template na siya. So, pag nag-create tayo ng new file, pag nag-open tayo yung new file, and then uh, ginamit natin yung template na ginawa natin, yung module 7. So, na-retain yung mga changes na ginawa natin, yung setup na ginawa natin. So, ganun po tayo mag-create ng template. Yung layers ay uh, i-discuss na natin more next meeting sa Synchronous, pati yung mga dimensions. And then, next asynchronous week naman is yung mismong uh, specific title block na para sa ating PT. Para naman sa mga AutoCAD mobile users, Nandito yung video. Ayan. So, andyan pa rin yung osnap. Tapos, ito yung layers. Ayan, gawan din natin ng layers. Dito yung hidden lines, yung object line, and yung dimensions. So, katulad lang din yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay, so, pwede nyo rin i-save siya sa drive. Ganito ang gagawin natin sa AutoCAD Mobile. 
So that's it for our module 7. See you on the next one.